<laughs> okay, we'll call the 15th regular meeting of the Common Council to order. Pat, would you call the roll, please? Bauman? Here. Deberg? Here. Eberg? Here. Doyle? Here. Manny? Here. Moody? Here. Perez? Here. Ports? Here. Schultz? Here. Stephan? Excuse. D. Van Akron? Here. T. Van Akron? Here. Vanderweel? Here. Wangaman? Here. Warner? Here. Wenninger? Here. 15 present. Quorum's present. Alderman Van Akron. Thank you, Your Honor. I move that we accept the minutes of the previous council as entered on the record. Yeah. Moved and seconded. We approve the minutes of the previous council meeting under discussion. Hearing none, all in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed? Motion carried. Alderman Van Akron, Terry, would you lead us in a pledge, please? <clears throat> Confirmation of appointments. So this came in October 21. Everybody submit the following appointment for your consideration. Paulette Enders to the position of Director of City Development for a five-year term commencing November 4, 2002 and expiring November 3, 2007. Signed by the Mayor. Alderman Van Acker. Your Honor, I would move that we approve the, the appointment. The appointment. <laughs> Move to the second that we approve the appointment under discussion. Hearing none, all in favor? Aye. Opposed? Congratulations, Paulette. Welcome. Public forum? Pardon? Public forum. Public forum. Michael Warner. I just wanted to take this opportunity to make the citizens around Longfellow School aware of an opportunity for them to become more involved in addressing some problems in their neighborhood. The Sheboygan Police Department, through community policing, will focus on solving some of the problems in this neighborhood. I have a flyer that I would like to read to you, and it begins by stating, you are welcome to join a neighborhood problem-solving session, and goes on to say, Recently, the Sheboygan Police Department and the Institute for Public Safety Partnerships from the University of Illinois at Chicago have been working together to promote the community policing philosophy in the city of Sheboygan. A citizen committee was formed and has chosen the neighborhood surrounding Longfellow School as a problem-solving project. This committee is very interested to hear from the residents living in this area to learn about any crime-related problems in your neighborhood. Three listening sessions have been scheduled on different days and times. We hope that one of these sessions would be convenient for you to attend. Wednesday, November 6th, 8 a.m. to 9.30 a.m. at Longfellow School in the Multimedia Room. Thursday, November 7th, from 5 p.m. to 6.30 p.m. at Longfellow School in the Multimedia Room. And Friday, November 8th, 1 p.m. to 2 p.m. at Arabella's Restaurant. Refreshments and snacks will be provided Please RSVP the Sheboygan Police Community Policing Office at 459-3341. That's 459-3341. Thank you. Thank you, Alderman Warner. That's all. Alderman Van Akron, consent agenda. Thank you, Your Honor. On the consent agenda, I would move that all ROs be accepted and filed, all committee reports be accepted and adopted, all resolutions be put upon their passage, all substitute resolutions be put upon their passage, and all general ordinances be put upon their passage. Moved and seconded that all ROs be accepted and filed, RCs accepted and adopted, resolutions, ordinances, and substitute resolutions be put upon their passage. That is 15-1 through, I believe, 15-29. Alderman Moody. <clears throat> Thank you, Your Honor. On 15, 9, 10, and 11, we've got some temporary temporary easements, and then 15, 11 is a permanent. What's the difference there? Can I ask Alderman Warner? I think uh, I'd uh, have Tom explain. <clears throat> That's probably a little more. The temporary easements are for grading back banks for 
the contractors to get on to the private property, do okay. some sloping, then they're off it, then the easement goes away. Where the permanent would be for utilities such as phone, uh, any type of sewers, power. And, and how's that's, everything coming along as far as the business drive? That, that's that's mo good. Uh, we're hoping to have everything by the end of the year in place. Okay. So. And how soon does some of the property owners have to be out? Probably by... Probably, depending on the contract signed, I would think by March. By March. Okay, thank and, you. But that could be negotiated depending on right. situations, too. Thank you. <clears throat> thank you, Tom. Alderman Doyle. Uh, just if Mike Hotz could comment, just educate us on 15-7 a little bit about what those awards were all about. I was just going to get to that. Thank you. If no one else has any, any other discussion on 15-7, CIVMIC related to to the city receives two 2002 significant program awards. These are two awards that each year cities and village municipal mutual insurance company re reviews loss control and safety programs which have been implemented within their 38 member cities and villages. This year the CIVMIC board selected five programs to receive significant program awards. It's very difficult for the city to receive such, such an award, much less two in the same year. However, this year, two programs developed by the City of Sheboygan employees were selected for this award, which includes a cash award to the community to be used for safety or loss control items. At this time, and, and these are the programs that were sent, this time I'd like to call on Rob Steeb and Mike Hutz, the two individuals who developed the programs, and then I would like to present them with the awards from CIVMIC. So Rob, you want to step up to Mike first? Thank you, Mayor. Um, the reason I created the scaffolding safety booklet and training is that it is one of the most overlooked areas in safety for both the public and private sectors. Um, the U.S. has an average of over 80 deaths and 10,000 injuries a year with improper use, no training, and maintenance of scaffolding. Um, this booklet demonstrates to the Department of Public Works employees how to properly maintain and use mobile scaf scaffolding, and it has been successful. Thank you for your time on this matter. Thank you, Rob. Mike? Mike did the one for sewer backups. I had hoped to be recognized for, for something else other than my work in sewers, but uh, I guess be that as it may, I'm pleased to get the award. Uh, reason for it was, uh, since I've been investigating claims for the city, I've found that uh, sewer backup claims are probably the most traumatic for our citizens. Also learned that most of our people don't know the difference between their sewer lateral and a sewer main, and often have questions on what they can do regarding proper disposal. The uh, booklet that won the award is uh, given to all residents who call our sewer crew and are in need of a assistance. It describes the uh, difference between the city main and the homeowner's lateral, details ways they can prevent sewer backups in both the main and the lateral, reviews their responsibilities as it relates to their lateral, and concludes with a question and answer format, uh, answering frequently asked, asked questions, and who they can contact if they have a problem. Uh, I'd like to thank a couple people for their help in that booklet. Uh, City Plumbing Inspector Larry Hilbelink, Superintendent of Streets Eddie Zakowski, and our sewer crew lead man Mike McMurray, who all had input into that and reviewed the book in its final draft for its accuracy. I'd also like to congrat congratulate Bob, who probably works in, most of you probably don't know Bob, he works in relative anonymity down at the service building, but he does a fabulous job uh, ensuring a safe work environment for all our employees and also ensuring that they follow our written guidelines. So my congratulations to Bob also. Thank you, Mike. Could you and Bob come up here, Mike? I'd like to present those awards. Both these awards say in the recognition of the cities and village and mutual insurance company acknowledge City of Sheboygan has demonstrated commitment to excellence in risk management and loss control through the creation of 
the Scaffling Safety Mobile Scaffolding. Congratulations, Rob. And Mike, coping with sewer backup. <laughs> Congratulations. <laughs> Thank you. Okay, if no one has anything else, Pat, would you call the roll on the consent agenda, please? D. Berg. Turn my microphone on. E. Berg. Doyle. Aye. Manny. Aye. Moody. Aye. Perez. Aye. Quartz. Aye. Schultz. Aye. D. Van Akron. T. Van Akron. Aye. Vanderweel. Wangaman. Aye. Warner. Weininger, Bauman, 15 ayes. Motion carried. 1530 to be referred. Oh, that will go to finance. 1531 by the Capital Improvements Commission, recommending final documents relative to appro approving the Capital Improvements Program and passing the sa attached substitute ordinance. All resolution. Excuse me. Pardon? Should be resolution. Substitute yes. resolution. Okay. You're right. Apologize. Uh, Alderman Perez. Uh, you caught me off guard there, Your Honor. Thank you. I would, I would move that the resolution be put on its passage. Okay. It's moved and second that substitute resolution be put up on its passage under discussion and accept and file the uh, RO. Hearing none, Pat, would you call the roll, please? Eberg. Aye. Doyle. Aye. Manny. Moody, Aye. Perez, Aye. Ports, Aye. Schultz, Aye. D. Van Akron, Aye. T. Van Akron, Vanderweel, Aye. Wangaman, Aye. Warner, Weininger, Bauman, D. Berg, Aye. 15 eyes. Motion carried. 1532 through 35 will lie over. 1536 through 52 to be referred. Fifteen third fifteen fifty three through fifty five will lie over. Fifteen fifty six and fifty seven lies over until eleven twenty five. Fifteen fifty eight through sixty three to be referred. Fifteen sixty four will lie over. 1565 by Public Protection and Safety recommending filing documents submitting various license application and denying beverage operator's license 5800 because of a felony conviction which makes the applicant ineligible for a license. Alderman Warner. Thank you, Your Honor. I make a motion we accept and file the RC and deny the license. Second. Moved and seconded. Accept and file the committee report and deny the license. He has to ask if the person's here. Yes. Uh, Your Honor, is, uh, I don't believe the gentleman is in attendance tonight whose license is being denied. Okay, thank you. <clears throat> All in favor? No. Oh, roll call, I'm sorry. Doyle? Aye. Manny? Aye. Moody? Aye. Perez? Aye. Ports? Aye. Schultz? Aye. T. Van Akron? T. Aye. T. Van Akron? Aye. Vanderweel? Aye. Wangaman? Aye. Warner? Aye. Weiniger? Aye. Bauman? D. Berg, E. Berg, 15 eyes. Motion carried. <clears throat> 1566 to be referred, 1567 to be referred. 1568 through 7, excuse me, 1568 will lie over. 1569 and 70 will be referred. 1468, a resolution by Alderman Schultz, Berg, T. Van Akron, authorizing extending the city's claim administration, administration straight of con, straight of contract. Alderman Schultz. Thank you, Your Honor. I make a motion the resolution be put upon its passage. Second. Moved and seconded, a resolution be put upon its passage under discussion. Hearing none, would you call the roll, please? Manny? Aye. Moody? Aye. Perez? Aye. Ports? Aye. Schultz? Aye. D. Van Akron? T. Van Akron, Vanderweel, Wangaman, Warner, Weininger, Bauman, D. Berg, E. Berg, Doyle. 15 eyes. Motion carried. 1451, resolution by Alderman T. Van Akron, Perez, Schultz, and Stefan, authorizing transferring funds to establish estimated revenue and appropriation for police communication services and radio repairs. Alderman Van Akron. 
Thank you, Your Honor. I would move that the resolution be put upon its passage. Moved and second, a resolution be put upon its passage under discussion. Hearing none, would you call the roll, please? Moody? Aye. Perez? Aye. Quartz? Aye. Schultz? Aye. D. Van Akron? T. Van Akron? Aye. Vanderweel? Aye. Wangaman? Aye. Warner? Aye. Wenninger? Aye. Bauman? Aye. D. Berg? Aye. E. Berg? Aye. Doyle? Aye. Manny? Aye. Fifteen ayes. Motion carried. 1462, a general ordinance by Alderman Wangaman, Perez, Warner, and Winninger add the position of wastewater maintenance supervisor and delete one wastewater treatment plan operator one in the WWTP division TO. Alderman Wangaman. Thank you, Your Honor. I uh, make a motion that the uh, document be accepted and filed and the uh, New position be created. Does he want to take the next ordinance too? Or not? You want to take the next one too along with it? Yes. It's been moved and seconded that 1462 and 63 both general ordinances be put upon their passage under discussion. Sure. I don't know that it was moved and seconded on the, the second document. No. But it wasn't? Okay, do I have a second on the second? Actually, who made the second the first time? That's what I thought. Thank you. Okay. Roll? Mm -hmm. Okay. Perez? Aye. Ports? Aye. Schultz? Aye. D. Van Akron? Aye. T. Van Akron? Aye. Vanderweel? Aye. Wangaman? Aye. Warner? Aye. Winninger? Aye. Bauman? Aye. D. Berg? Aye. E. Berg? Aye. Doyle? Aye. Manny? Aye. Moody? Aye. 15 eyes. Motion carried. We have called to the clerk's desk from the Strategic Fiscal Plan Commi Commission, 1128 RO by the Finance Director, Actually, Treasurer. if you just Go have ahead. someone make a motion for those, they can do it right okay, away. Okay, Alderman Van Akron. We need a motion to do what? Call to the clerk's Clerk. desk. I would make a motion then to call the four documents from the clerk's desk being 1128, 11. 29, 458, and 1118. Moved and seconded under discussion. Hearing none, all in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed? Motion carried. Okay, Alderman Van Akron. Are we looking to file these or I would move the. There's a resolution attached to 1118. I don't know if that's to be passed or I would imagine. I would move then to. File document 1128, the RO on the budget request, 1129, um, submitting the summary of the budget request from the Enterprise Fund, 458, uh, the budget reductions, do we want to file that or move that to strategic? I'd like to move that back if we could. All right, then I would move that that gets um, referred to strategic. Uh, let's do the filing first. Okay. Let's just do the first two then. 1128 and 1129, file both of those ROs. That's good. We would do the second that we accept and file the ROs, 1128 and 29. Under discussion. Do you need a roll on that? No. Hearing none, all in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed? Motion carried. Now, on a, Your Honor, on 458, I would move that that be referred to strategic plan. Moved and seconded to refer 458 back to strategic fiscal plan under discussion. This gives us the option to implement some of the uh, list that we made, the formulation list uh, at the beginning of the year rather than just filing it. So that's why Terry moved it back asking for. All in favor? Aye. Opposed? Motion carried. 1118. Your Honor, I would move that the committee report be accepted and adopted and the resolution be put upon its passage. Move to second to RC be accepted and adopted and the resolution be put upon its passage. Is there any discussion? Hearing none, I this one we need to roll. I think so. Ports, Schultz, D. Van Akron, 
Stephen Akron. Aye. Vanderweel? Aye. Longaman? Aye. Warner? Aye. Weninger? Aye. Solomon? Aye. Deberg? Aye. Eberg? Aye. Doyle? Aye. Manny? Aye. Moody? Aye. Perez? Aye. 15 ayes. Motion carried. <coughs> Steve? 1571 is a committee report by Public Protection and Safety uh, concerning the 2003 budget requests uh, that are reviewed by their committee and approving them as submitted. That will go to finance. 1572 is a resolution authorizing entering into a tax collection agreement with Sheboygan County for the 2002-2003 collection period. Finance. 1573 is a committee report from Public Protection and Safety Committee uh, <clears throat> with respect to requesting removal of the present parking sign on North 25th Street next to the clinic employee parking lot, recommending that communication be accepted and placed on file and an attached ordinance be passed. Slides over. 1574 is a report of officer by the city clerk submitting a communication received by the mayor from Michael Lanzer, president of Lakeshore Sunrise Kiwanis, requesting the city's continued support of the graduation celebration. Finance. 1575 is a resolution authorizing entering into a contract for professional services for the South Pier infrastructure design. Public Works. Moved and seconded to adjourn under discussion. Hearing none, all in favor? Aye. Opposed?